guys welcome back to my youtube channel kindly don't forget to like this video comment and subscribe to my channel so that you can be among the top people to be notified anytime i upload a new video okay <clears throat> so today i wanted to shoot for you guys what i'll be cooking for supper today and i want to cook some minji and rice so i'll take through how i'll do it yeah so stay tuned yeah and support me guys please kindly support me and uh, share it with your people with your friends relatives, and everyone in you are all socials share with, with people subscribe yeah let's get started done done i'm not going to use so much of it because because it's only a one time meal or even if it will be a two maybe we can take some farm tomorrow lunch time yeah because i normally don't cook during lunch time yeah so this is what i'm going to use i'm done peeling off yeah the next thing is to boil the minji.
and before I continue guys I thought I would show you something that I bought that is helping me crush or crush this the ginger and garlic and it's this one ginger and garlic crusher and I love it so far by the way I saw it somewhere on YouTube videos and I decided to that I'm going to buy one yeah and it really really helped me when it comes to ginger and garlic yeah it's so nice I, and I bought it for 200 bob only yeah this is how it looks you just put the garlic or ginger inside then plus yeah and they come out through these holes it's so nice guys you, sh you should also buy one if you don't yep and tell me how you think about it what i learned about miji is that whenever you put salt when boiling them they will still be green and they won't turn in color so i think at this moment our mujis are ready and yeah so I can turn off the gas and prepare the rest of the ingredients. Yeah. Yes, my baby is asleep. She's so tired. We were somewhere. We had gone somewhere and she had to walk. Yeah, so I guess that's why she's so tired and feeling so sleepy and she has been sleeping for almost two hours now. Yeah, let her sleep and rest as I continue to make dinner for her. Telling you about the this thing. Yeah, this is how it works. And I guess it's so easy, guys. When it comes to ginger and garlic, yeah, this is how it is working. And you have all your things out, so it's very easier while using it done preparing the ingredients now to the cooking the first thing i do is put the onions onion cooking oil the next thing that i put then the next thing after this is my tomatoes I hate my onions so much cooked or because in the river sana so I just put them for some minutes or some seconds then I add some tomatoes so that they cannot cook that much tomatoes then after this I'll put some salt yum tomatoes I have to wait for them to cook until they are all cooked or they are all cooked so for this I have to wait then after this I'm going to put my ginger and garlic so that they can cook together ginger and garlic then start After this, ho ho, my ho ho already put. Then I have I have to wait for them to at least cook the logo, then put some the carrots, we just cut the ginger, then tomato, potatoes. Yeah, I'll show you after I put the okay, after this I'll put my my carrots. For this, I have I, I, I just only have to wait for them to steam here, then put the potatoes. Potatoes, then stir for some time. After 
struggle for this i have to keep the new piece that in each we had initially boiled after i put the new piece i stir for some time after that after that the next thing is my well washed light then start after stirring i will give them give it some few minutes so that is it can cook somehow and then put some water the final thing is putting some water in it yeah then after that i'll stir for some time for uniformity and then give it some time so we'll be, i'll be back when the rice is cooked yes <laughs> 